we say back in Massachusetts, both early and often. I am Mary Ann Hanusa, State Representative for Council Bluffs. If you're committed to supporting Mitt Romney for president, would you please raise your hand? If you're still undecided, would you please raise your hand? I am here today, as are all of you, because I'm supporting Mitt Romney for President of the United States. This is the best part of my campaign. You, you can't imagine. I never imagined that I would be running for President of the United States. I sort of backed in to, to getting involved in politics. I, I've been governor for four years. Only four years. I love this country. I love the principles upon which it was founded. This is an election of a choice of direction for America, not just policies, but a choice of whether we're going to remain true to the principles that made us who we are, or instead we're going to take a sharp turn left and become something that we would hardly recognize. We got to go to the national parks. What a thrill that was. I knew what mom and dad were doing. They wanted us to fall in love with America, and it worked. That wonderful hymn I already mentioned, Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies, for amber waves of grain. If corn counts as an amber wave of grain, why well, you have some right here. <laughs> the song goes on, you know another verse, it says, Oh Beautiful for Heroes Proved in Liberating Strife. Do we have any servicemen or women in the audience? Would you raise your hand if you're here today? Thank you for your service. These are These are who the song referred to, the heroes proved in liberating strife. At the last stop I introduced my son that's here is Matt, his name is Craig. But it reminded me of what it was like when I was an exasperated mother, and I'd say, Tag Matt, and do you know who I mean? You! <laughs> um, my son, Craig. Come on, sweetie. Um, he was the baby. Are you on duty? Yeah. What, what, what agency are you with? No, I'm out of D.C. I work, I work for the government. Oh, you work for the government? Yeah. Private private security? I just noticed your badge, your button had a badge symbol on it. Oh. Former law enforcement? Uh -huh. Are you a Romney supporter or just a Romney employee? No Both? Comment. No, comment. no comment. So you're I'm you're working, working for Romney, here. but you wouldn't I'm say if you would vote for him? Way. You wouldn't vote for him? I guess that's a no. So you came here to give Mitt Romney a chance, and you were not convinced. Well, I asked him that. Very, I asked him a question as he walked in, and he looked me right in the eye and ignored me. Excuse me, Governor Romney. Excuse me, Governor. I'm an Iraq combat veteran, sir. I want to say, thank you, sir, and I, I appreciate you honoring Veterans Day in your speech, but you didn't once mention the Constitution that we swore an oath to. How important is the Constitution in your, in your determining your platform? Thanks, you guys. Critical. It's the, it's the blueprint of the nation. Governor, if the Constitution is so important, will you repeal the Patriot Act and the military detention provision of the NDAA? I have to hand it to the Romney campaign. They were very supportive and friendly towards independent media until we started asking questions. Governor Romney, if the Constitution is so important, will you repeal the Patriot Act and the military detentions provision of the NDAA that Obama just signed? You can win, Matt. Thank you, Matt.
Just a little prediction here that when the governor comes out, there's going to be a special wall of bodies formed just for Adam versus the man. Sir. That's all right. Whoa. Now it's like it's like a Romney funnel coming coming straight here, straight to us. Uh, maybe we could just like stand right here. Uh, we're we're going to exercise our freedom on the cross to be where we're, we're going to be on a public sidewalk. More ropes coming. We're making these security guys uh, earn their pay tonight, apparently. Maybe Romney will even take a different exit strategy tonight, just for us. I'm being caged in now. I see guys with microphones in their ears, whispering to each other, looking at me. It's like they're holding up this whole operation because there's a dangerous man with a microphone outside, freezing his butt off. Uh-oh, catch that, get, the, get a shot of that. The Romney bus is pulling out. Shall we? We were all under the impression that he was going to be able to come out and meet with some people. We'd have another chance to ask him a question. As a combat veteran, it's important for me to get questions answered about the Constitution, about the document that I risked my life for. And apparently, they decided they were going to sneak him out the back. The bus pulled out. We've got some people still out front standing around in the cold, it would seem. And here in the back, waiting for the governor, we suppose, is a heavily modified Chevy Tahoe with Illinois plates, some interesting electronics equipment on the top, some antennas and who knows what. And it appears that the governor still has yet to leave the building. Apparently one man with a microphone is dangerous enough to be a significant security concern for a presidential candidate who is running from the truth. That one right there. Oh wait, now they've got a new vehicle That's up what here. I'm talking about. Maybe that's a dummy to keep us from this one. Hold on, we gotta stay where we stand where we can see both of them. That one right there. The black one right there? Yeah. That's their one. We're here earlier Yeah? Well, which one is the dummy is the question. Oh, funny cat and mouse games with these amateur security jerks. Don't worry, they got eyes out for us there. You got? Wait. Oh. Governor Romney, do you have a minute for a serious question about the Constitution from a combat veteran? Do you have a minute, sir? Sir, do you just have a minute for a serious question about the Constitution? From an Iraq veteran, one question. No? Thank you. Apparently not. Thank you, Governor. Damn, we're freaking out. I can't even ask one question.